Hey, what's up guys? Today, we're going to be making a margarita. Now, you were fooled. I will not be using Classy Azul for my margarita. It was all, all a prank, dude. We're actually going to make the margarita with Lunazul. This is Lunazul. <laughs> They're similar names, but different. Margaritas go way back. I love going to the Mexican restaurant and having a margarita, you know? Who, who doesn't, right? Uh, I'm not going to do a big twist on anything. I do, to my margarita, add lemons. I know it's a bit crazy, but for some people. But I like it. I make it for my guests almost every day, and they love it. I haven't had anybody tell me that they don't like it, and this is a recipe I've been making the past two years that I've worked on, and I've made better and better every day. So let's make this margarita. Um, this is a margarita I've made for my girlfriend a bunch of times. She loves it. So how I make my margarita, I always start off with fresh fruit. So I do 0.75 lime juice. This is how I've always done it. And that's how I'm going to continue to do it until I figure out how to make it even better. All right, so we have our 0.75 lime juice, a fresh, freshly squeezed lime going right in the tin. Next, we will put 0.5 ounces of lemon juice. Freshly squeezed like your mama loves it. Add that to the mix. All right, now we have our acid, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is add our 0.25 of our simple syrup. Now, the other ingredients. So now we're gonna add 0.25 of our corn tro to the tin. It's not much orange liqueur, but I mean, it's a little and it makes a difference, okay? It does, okay? It surely does. Now finally, the piece of resistance the two ounces of tequila. I'm going Blanco. Um, I typically go Reposado, but for this case, I'm going Blanco. We're gonna go ahead and garnish our glass with, with salt. So I'm gonna need another lime. Let's grab a nice one. So I only like to salt half the glass just in case. Uh, I don't like salt in the whole room, personally, but I do like to get it down here. I do like to get it down and below down below the rim a little bit. I like it like that, damn it. Offset it a little bit. I oh, know that'll be the, the crown. So let's add our ice in our tin. All right, we have our ice in our tin. We need to ice the glass. Okay, so we have our glass. I'll put that there. Let's give this a nice shake. Mm, smells like a margarita. We have fresh ingredients in there. Look at this pour. Oh, wow. Perfect, dude. I've made a margarita once or twice. Let's go ahead and crown our king. Boom. Look at that. Now that's a margarita. Now let's go ahead and give it a taste. Light, refreshing, delicious. The freshly squeezed juice, always king. Like I said, if you're making a margarita, you have to use fresh juices. You have to. You have to. If you don't, your margarita's gonna suck. That's just how it is. Alrighty, guys, this is my take on a margarita. I appreciate all of you stopping by. My name is Josh, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Hey, guys, so I actually wanted to add something to the video. Um, so, I am extremely grateful for everything that's been going on lately. Um, for those of you who don't know, my first competition went very well. I came in second place in my first competitions. And that being said, I got put in uh, Nashville Lifestyles right here at the end for Bartender Bash. That's me right here. That's me. That's crazy, guys. I'm, I'm extremely thankful. Guys, seriously, this is I've never experienced anything like this in my life. Um, and it's making me extremely happy. And I'm finally getting to do the things that I want to do now because of how hard I've been working lately. Um, that being said, I have my second competition coming up. I ain't letting off easy, okay? We're coming in strong, coming in hard. This next competition is going to be really great, but it's going to be twice as many people. It's going to be extremely difficult, and it's working with a spirit that's still pretty new to me. Um, it is for Sodal Desert Door. Um, it's going to be September 17th at Nashville Cocktail Festival. So please come by and show your support. I appreciate everything that I've gotten so far. Thank you guys. Catch you next one. Peace out.